What's up guys? I'm out here in Pyramid Lake in Southern California. I haven't been here since December or so and I was only here for like an hour or two. They stocked trout not too long ago here and it's a Saturday and Castaic's been super busy on Saturday so I'm just trying out Pyramid today. Maybe find some big ones, maybe find some schoolies. I know there's a lot more stripers here than there are in Castaic so we'll see how things go. I got my buddy John and his girl joining me today. Hopefully we'll get on a good troll bite or a swim bait bite, we'll see. I'll catch on a bit. What happened? I don't know. Oh, I ain't There you go. Right when you feel the line get tight, oh, point the rod tip up. Yeah. Uh, you might need to loosen her tension. I think it took a little too long. Yeah, the spool tension later on. Uh, you don't need to strip right now. We already passed it. Okay. Wait, what the hell? It's still tiny too. Oh. It's funny. I know it's funny. We can make another pasture. Oh, dude. No, bring it up. I think it's a tiny one. Okay. <laughs> I think it's tiny. So. Oh, dude. That was tiny. You got this. You did? Yeah. That was about a real. Like a oh, she got one. Nice. There you go. Oh, no. oh, I had a bite. Oh, we double up. I was about to get a triple up, too. Keep reeling. Nice and steady. You don't have to go fast. Well, there's some schools of fish out here. Awesome. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. I stopped the boat. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. Yesterday? Yeah. That's what you want to keep. Heck yeah, dude. Big boy. Is it a good one? Uh, good head shakes. Really? Or is it small? It's it's bigger than it's not as big as Catherine's. But it's bigger than the baby? Yeah, it's bigger than the baby. It's probably around the same size as Catherine. You're nine and a half? Huh? You were at nine and a half? Yeah, nine and a half. Turn this reel up. No point in us trolling any further. It's not like that nine pounder we caught at Castaic though. That nine pounder was pretty crazy drag. Nine pounders don't even take drag from me anymore. They don't? No, I set my drag super tight. Uh, heavy, but... Yeah, I saw the boat. Yeah, it's not like cast steaks. Oh, I think it's off. No, it's not. Don't stop it. What pound, what pound leader do you have? Uh, 20. Nice. Just put them in. Nice. They're fat, though. Yeah, they're so fat. Really? Yeah, it's so fat. The underbelly? Jeez. Yeah. Oh, you got one already? Yeah. Oh, I got bit. I got bit. Okay. Oh, I got bit. Me too. Oh, oh yeah. Triple up. Not yet. Not for me yeah. yet. Oh, dude, John, look at this cool right here. Oh, my God. I should have just gone for that one. 20. 
I'm gonna go for that school. Go, go, go! Yeah, I know, I'm gonna go for that school right here. I'm neutral. Double up. Oh, shit. Dying. Oh, hey, John. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh my god, look at this master school, John. Do you want to spoon for them? Oh my god. Yeah, we can spoon for them, I bet. Yeah, why don't we spoon for them? Why not, right? Yeah. This will take some drag. Okay. Go set up the spoon, dude. It's loaded. I know. No, it's okay. I have so many spoons. Oh, I got bit. I got a fish. Nice. Come on, you Akuma Stingra. What is He swallowed that, dude. Yeah, he did. All right, one of us should get bit here. Ah, got bit. Good one, huh? Better. Yeah, looks like it. Head are better. There you go. Hey, there you go. That's a nicer one. Woohoo! Good job, bro. Where are those bass fishing men go? Uh, they're right there. Dude. Kind of still. Same spot? Huh? So are, are they on the same spot? Uh, they're slowly moving. Uh, no, they're pretty much on the same spot. Alright, angle was bad. You did? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, she got one. I was about to turn around too. Dude, that's the deepest you ever caught one, huh? Yeah. Got another one, guys. Nice. Got one. There you go. A little better? Uh, there is another one. It's like the, the ones with the medium sized ones. Nice. Keeping. Good. Damn, you're on a roll. What were you at? 11 and a half? Uh, 11 and a half. If I'm getting bit there, definitely seeing your, your guys' flies. Mm -hmm. Should we switch on to a yak fly? I don't know. Maybe it's the, the chartreuse that's yeah. like standing out. We can switch on to a yak fly. Got John hooked up on the yak fly. Really deep, 60, 58 feet down. So it's about 11 and a half colors. It's a lot of reeling. He's got about 115 yards or 330 feet of line to recover. It's quite a lot. Let's see the size on this guy. Yeah, there's some stripers out here overall. They're a bit smaller, but they're not too bad. 
There are a lot, there's a lot more of him. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good eater size. Yeah, Dang, look at him how fat he is. Another fat one, man. Look at that belly. Ooh, yeah, these are fat guys. These are fat. Hey, hey, go for these guys right here. Go four. Go four as fast as you can. You see them, right? As soon as you get it, you start stripping. You see them right now? Yeah, I see them. You can even go three. Go three. Right when you're at no, three. No, they're going low down. Go to oh, four. Go to go four. four. One of you guys go five. One of you go four. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I won't be able to reach them. I'm only at three. A good one? Yeah, it's oh, about your you size. Got a lot to go. Yeah, it's your size though. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. John, you're going to be a lot because you're going to go super shallow. Yeah. Another one, guys. 60 feet down. Hella deep. On the Neo Kuma Cortez reel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you above Nico. Nice. Oh. Oh, you are Nico. I got it. Gotta double up, guys. You're good, John. Yeah. You gotta double so up. Nice. You feel small? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. True. She got in before me. Mine isn't as small. There you go. And then there you go. Shad fly, guys. And then both of them are catching them on the yak fly, though. Yak fly is doing a little better today, but both on the board. He's he like swallowed it. There's another one. Another decent one, huh? Yeah. There you go. A little bit better. Hi guys, John is hooked up to another one. He's been catching the most today. And he's hooked on to another decent schoolie. It's a lot of line recovery again. My left arm's on fire. <laughs> oh, he's got him. Hey, that's another good one. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's how you got to do it. Because they, they. Yeah! Nice! Pretty good one, huh? Yeah! Nice! Ah, uh, it's a yak fly then. The shaft fly's not working out right now. I'm gonna switch off flies. Alright. How to this? People will come up to us with water bottles or beer and like, here, take some. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one, guys. 60 foot down. A lot of line to recover. She got hooked up on the. What is she using? John? Yak fly. Yak fly. Size one on. Yeah, Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh we got a follower. Yeah. Got some followers. That was cool. Yeah. You saw the followers, John, right? Huh? You yeah. saw the follower? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Another chunk, chunky one. Chunky one. Yeah, look at that belly. It's bloated. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just back up. Yeah. Okay. Around. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. I 
single fish at six colors. <laughs> Alright, she can reel up. She can reel up? Yeah, because I was ahead of her. It's an eater. Yeah. It's the same length, just not as fat. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's what you want to say, guys. All right, guys, that's the end of the day. Um, we did pretty good. For my first time out here in like half a year, and I, I, I really don't even fish here, honestly. We did pretty good considering all that. Fish are a lot smaller here on average, but we did pretty good. We caught a total of 21 stripers and about like 13 keepers. A lot of them were small. We found them anywhere from 20 to all the way up to 75 feet deep. They're like all around the place, but there's plenty of stripers out here. We caught them on the yak fly and the shad fly, but by the end of the day, we figured out that a yak fly was biting a little better. Pretty good. I didn't really talk too much because John's girlfriend is actually a first time fly coring, so. You know, we had to teach her a bit, but we did pretty good. I Hopefully next time I'll be back out at Castake, but it was nice to just come to this lake and to see what's going on. Then again, everything caught on a yak fly and shad fly, and I'll have a link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next trip. Peace.